Are you gonna uh, green screen George Clinton in? Sure. What's up guys? We are in Austin, Texas this week. Uh, Canon has actually brought me down here and I'm going to be here for the next five days working with these folks. This is the John Lennon Bus. And if you guys aren't familiar with the John Lennon Bus, this is a nonprofit institution that Canon is one of the main sponsors with. And what this is, is it represents Canon's investment into the empowerment of education of filmmakers. And I'm really excited to be doing this. We're gonna be working with three local high school students on making a short film. And so I'm gonna give you a little bit of behind the scenes. But first, let's go, uh, let's go check out the bus. We're on the John Lennon Educational Tour Bus, and this is the world's best nonprofit mobile recording studio. Right now, this is kind of like the, the equivalent of the living room of the studio, if you will. It's where we get all the kids, they come in, they sit on the couch, we get to know them. Um, we kind of, you know, get them as comfortable as possible. The bus is designed around coming in and wanting to create as quickly as possible and as easily as possible. So as you can see, we got some guys playing already. You know, we always have music going. This isn't a museum. Um, this is something that we want to be tactile and interactive and anything that the kids are interested in, in getting their hands on, they can. They totally have access to any, any piece of equipment, camera, guitar, um, TriCaster, whatever they want to touch, they get to, they get to play with. These projects that they create, they're done in eight hours. They have one day to create these projects with the bus. And we need them to be able to get their ideas out as quickly as possible and having the newest best tools allows us to be as efficient as possible with these days. We want to offer it to as many different types of kids as possible. It's not just for like high schools, it's not just for middle schools, it's not just for college, it's all in between even as young as like fourth, fifth grade and the reason why we're doing that is because you know every kid takes something different away from the bus. Um, but the similar thing is that when they leave that door, they feel like they've created something that they never thought they would be able to create. There's no limits, there's no barriers. It's like we're, we are their, we're more than just their teachers, we're their colleagues, confidants, we're their friends. We're here as their partners making their vision come to life. I'm Jordan Ryan DeStefano. I'm David Venish. And I'm Kara Barfield. I've known David since sophomore year. Um, we were in AV Tech together, so. And you guys are in Round Rock, right? Yeah, we're in Round Rock ISD. We are going to interview George Clinton, and we are gonna go get some shots in Austin. He's a big 60s, <laughs> 70s funk fan. I, I am, I am. Um, I, he also worked with um, one of my favorite rappers, Tupac, so. Oh, really whenever neat. I found that out, I was like, oh, so excited. Master Flan is to emphasize the moment of dedication that these artists decide that music is what they want to do with their lives. And so it's about following street musicians in juxtaposition to George Clinton and showing the highlights and differences between them and what led them and the relationship between them as musicians and their, as their passions. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
You're just gonna rock. That's what you're gonna do. I like it. Rock. I want to rock. Oh man, we just had. We're getting George Clinton to put money in her guitar case, and it's gonna be amazing. I don't believe any of y'all. <laughs> okay, I think that may be him. We just got a line that he was going to be in the neighborhood. And, and I kind of believe that. I kind of believe that. Y'all don't we seem even... sketchy enough to pull that. Yeah, y'all didn't even. He doesn't know. With his ladies, damn. Oh, it's I don't care. Compete, man. Everybody, it's Mr. Clayton. Oh, oh. I was about 15 years old. I heard Frankie Lyman on the radio singing Why Do Fools Fall In Love? And I knew from that moment that I liked this record, this song. But by the time I got to school that day, everybody was talking about, had you heard this record? Especially the girls. <laughs> and I, right then I knew that I wanted to make music if it had girls talking like this about you. I was in 14 in grade school. I started Parliament before the end of the week. 